All right, I got a quick video for you today for those interested in using my library of citations. So I often refer to this program uh, called EndNote that handles all my citations. You'll often see me in, uh, you know, when I'm streaming or talking or whatever, I'll, I'll be going through this and I'll pull up citations, references, everything. It's all neatly in here and organized. <clears throat> so this program is called EndNote. Now this is paywalled behind, I think it's like 250 bucks or something crazy. But if you're able to acquire it online, I have a direct library that you can download um, exported that has all of these that maintains the, st the structure of my grouping here. So if you're able to acquire this, you can uh, you can maintain this structure with this with one click import because um, you, you can just use this library directly with this. Um, but, you know, that's a that's a bit complicated, a bit complicated. So there's a. Um, you know, when it comes to acquiring that. That pay that paywall program, but there's a much simpler option. So this program is free. It's called Zotero. You can download it here. You click your download. You install. You get this, and then what you're gonna do is, is I have a link in the description here uh, to my Telegram, and you're gonna download this file here. The link is gonna take you here. You're gonna download this. It's almost three. Uh, it's almost three gigabytes. When you have that downloaded, you'll go to your downloads. And it'll be in a zip file, or actually, when you download it on Telegram, it might be in wherever your temporary download folder is for for Telegram. So you'll want to come here, and then open uh, Show in Folder, and then go go from there. So anyway, you'll unzip it, and it'll create a folder called My Library. So that's cool. Once you have your My Library folder, you'll want to you'll want to copy this, or you'll want to cut it and put it uh, somewhere. I would put it in, you know, my documents or something like that. You definitely don't want to just have it in a temp folder or uh, what's the other thing? Uh, or just chill it in your downloads folder. That's some rookie stuff, right? We're all about that big boy organization here. So you're definitely going to want to put it in my documents, uh, you know, to say the least. <clears throat> and when you do that, uh, what you'll do here is you'll go to, you'll open up your Zotero folder or uh, program, right? You'll pop this bad boy open. You'll go, I'm trying to make it so you can see it. You'll go to um, File, you go to Import, click this right here, and you're going to be looking for this RFD folder. So you guys are going to have your um, library and your documents. So you're going to go to My Documents, My Library, and then in that library folder is going to be your RFD. Now mine's in my downloads because I already, this is just a temporary thing to show you guys. So um, you'll click on your RFD, it'll click Open. And it will, it'll say importing, importing, or indexing, or something like that. And then after a couple of seconds, or a minute or two, depending on how fast your computer is, you'll have a nice cohesive list here. So you'll open this bad boy up. And how this works is, uh, you know, you can search alphabetically um, or whatever. So any any keywords you type in here, it'll actually search all the PDFs. So any searchable PDFs, uh, it'll search those for text for keywords. So say you're looking for a specific subject but you don't remember so uh you can type in stuff like that so gravitational so uh, it'll start with the it should start with the titles and then it'll go to words or it'll, then it'll go to folder uh, files that just have gravitational in it so yeah okay cool so that's how that works and then when you want to open the pdfs in this program so say you want to so okay we were looking for the old cahill right here right so we click that drop down menu we got our cahill we open our PDF. Now this opens by default in um, in Zotero in the editor here. I haven't I haven't used it, but it seems pretty pretty straightforward. Very cool. Okay, yeah, it seems pretty seems pretty straightforward. Um, but if you want to change that to whatever PDF you PDF reader you use, you can do that in preferences. Come down here to where is it at? I saw it earlier. PDF reader. Yep. So you can. Um, oh wait, show us tab. Where was the uh, PDF reader of your choosing? Oh, open. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Open PDFs using Zotero, and then custom, and you'll find your wherever you have yours installed, and I'll leave you to figure all that out if you're uh, <clears throat> not going to use Zotero as your default PDF editor. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Shout out to um, I, I am Ion's cat uh, who told me who 
brought the uh, end note to my attention and told me about Zotero, uh, got me interested in using this citation manager. And honestly, since I've been using it, the, it's been a complete game changer. To quote Robert Bassano, it's not what you know, it's what you can prove. So ABC, always carry your receipts. Um, and shout out to Eric's, uh, or Eric E., uh, who was following up on the citations and stuff, and it sparked the conversation to get me motivated to uh, look into this library conversion situation so that everybody can have these citations um, you know, in an easily accessible way where they're not having to, oh, how do I pirate this $300 program or whatever, right? So this is a nice cohesive way to do it. Unfortunately, you're not able to maintain the file structure, but uh, there will be links included in the description that will <clears throat> that will show you the that will show you each one of these windows unbroken or broken down, so you can come through and uh, just kind of reproduce those if you uh, if you so choose. Now, I'll, I'll be updating this every month, so every month or so, I will drop an updated version of these citations in my. Um, in my Telegram, they'll be hash, they'll be dated and hashtagged and all that, so you can search them easily. So you'll the the, the tags to search for will be EndNote Library or is a Tarot Library. Everything will it'll just take you to the most recent stuff of that, so it'll all be organized when you start coming into it. All right, very cool. Take care, much love, peace.